Hi. Statistic here. So, it's almost the end of the month. I had my, like, term break last week. And it just ended. Today is Monday. Um, I have school again tomorrow. Um, but I just want to make, like, a quick video of me showing some of the stuff I got while I was in Australia. If you have not watched my last video, like, the little vlog I made, um, I will, like, I think link it, like, up here or something. Or maybe in the description, uh, whatever. Um, uh... So I have a couple stuff I got. Um, these aren't like exclusively like Australian related things. They're just like stuff I got while I was there. Um, I was just around like in Melbourne, but I also like traveled like outside of Melbourne, like just a few places here and there. But these are stuff I got. Uh, without further ado, let's start off with some classic items that I always, I always get. Uh, we have CDs. We have two of these. This is this one is actually my dad. It is God Help the Girl um, by, I guess, like, Bone Sebastian, technically. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a side project thing or, like, a concept album because, like, I think God Help the Girl has its own, like, separate account. Um, I know it did get turned into, like, a film. I think it's, like, some sort of, like, concept album because, like, um, here, okay, so there's a CD design. I mean, I think it's really cute. It's really simple. But the booklet here has, like, a whole storyline with, like, Eve and, I think, Cassie or something. Like, there's literal, like, photos in here. Um, I have not read through, like, much of this. Um, there's... An introduction. This is the character, I guess, Eve or whatever. I don't know much. Um, I'm gonna give this like maybe a couple plays and then I'll give it back to my dad because I don't actually like want it that much. But you know, like Bella and Sebastian CDs aren't like super easy to find like here. So it was like, and um, we got this at like a record store nearby, like the hotel me and my family were uh, staying in. It was just like a few like blocks away from us, so we were, we just like walked there. But what did catch my and you know the cool thing about the record store they had like a bunch of DVDs as well, and a lot of CDs, a lot of vinyl. Um, it was like stat. I felt like I was in like the Criterion closet or something. Um, but this is what actually like what I got on uh, the Magical Mystery Tour um, by the Beatles. Um, classic album. It's iconic. Um, the film made for this, however, I mean, it's really surreal. It's not, like, the best. It's not, like, A Hard Day's Night or Help. But I think, it's, I, I still think it's, like, really good. Um, the booklet, however, is, it's just lyrics. There's, like, a little photo of all four of them. I think that's really cute. Um, lyrics, everything. The CD does not have, like, that much of, like, an interesting design. But I think that's fine. Uh, there's the back. Same thing with, like, the inside of that. It's the same thing. Um, I like this album. Ooh, I did not push that correctly. Ooh, okay. Um, I got stuck on my gloves. Speaking of gloves, I got a new pair of gloves. So we went to, like, a market thing where they sell, like, a bunch of, like, cheap, uh, souvenirs and stuff to give to, like, your family. That kind of stuff. Like, the ones they sell in, like, bulks. So, they also had... I'm sorry. Uh, they also had, like, these uh, gloves, I think. There was, like, a bunch of random stuff. Like, there, was peop there were people selling, like, jewelry. Um, like, necklaces and stuff. And, like, you know, like... Uh, some stalls would have, like, the same few items. So, like, some of them... So, one of them had, like, gloves. I actually did not really want this one that badly. There was, like, these, st like, striped ones I really want. I know I've tried making my own of like my own like striped like fingerless gloves but I don't really like them as much you know I tried making them so there were that one and there's another one I think it was also like a long like sleeved type glove it wasn't just like a you know like this type of glove um I think it had like a little skull pattern on it and I thought it looked really cool but by then by the time I figure out that was on the table as well I already had my dad to pay me for these ones. These are like basic plain like black gloves that are fingerless. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure these are like just 
cut off, I guess. They're just like what I'm wearing right now, but like without the skeleton part. So it's like really casual, I guess. Um, I might wear these in videos or not. Because, you know, like, you do like get tired of like seeing the same few gloves or whatever. So, you know, like, I might wear these in videos or whatever. Um, because you do, maybe, like, you get tired seeing of, like, seeing, like, me wearing, like, the same few gloves or whatever. Um, I did used to have, like, those, like, letter gloves, I think, the other one, back when I was, like, in the UK. I used to have those I got from, like, Amazon or something. But I think I, there's, like, mold on it, and I don't know how to get rid of it. I tried, like, washing it off. It's like hand sanitizer. Uh, did that? That did not work. It came back. Um, so I said, "Oh yeah, uh, near the the record store, near the uh, record store, a few like blocks away from that, just like walking, there's like a a little really small bookstore, like a book bookshop. Uh, it was very small and cramped. It was a, like a a giant like professional one, I guess. It's like just this one like person like managing it." I mean, not really, but like, it was like really small. I don't know if the books are used. I think they're all new. And they had like postcards and a bunch of other stuff. And technically, once again, I think my dad got this, but I might read it. Um, there's this book. I, th I don't know if it's just on the specials, um, which is a great band, by the way. Um, or if it's just like on like two tone bands or something. I'm not sure. I don't know if it mentions like any other like ska bands or if it's focus on the specials specifically. I don't think so. I think it's... Yeah, like, they mentioned Madness, um, a bunch of other bands as well. I already have, like, a Madness CD, I think, I got from a while ago. I don't know if I showed that in a video or not, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, I'm excited to read this. If I get to it, I have, like, a couple books I have to read. Like, I... I think you can see, like, this Beatles one next to me. I think there's more on the shelf. I have not gotten to those at all. I need to catch up on my reading. Um, what else? Uh, at the airport, I got a couple stuff. Uh, I got a lip balm because the one I currently have is uh, is almost like running out. Um, I don't know if there's like a tint to this. Like when I put it on my skin, I don't think there's like a pink like tints or anything, but it is supposed to be like berry flavor, so I'm excited to use that. I guess it's, I don't know if it's scented. Oh, it is. Um, I hope this is not like a boycotted brand or anything. I don't think so. I think this is not a really popular brand. I don't know. I don't know anything about like cosmetics. Um, next I have a little necklace. Originally my mom took this one, but then I was like, oh, no, I'll take that one. Actually, no, no, no I'm sorry. Uh, my mom took, like, a really, like, simple one. Uh, I took this one. It's a little necklace. Um, Australian opal. Um, this was $39 Australian dollars. I don't know. I think, is that what you call the currency there? I don't remember. Um, I've not tried this on or anything. I love jewelry, honestly. I love necklaces bracelets, rings, whatever. I love all of that. Um, I have a keychain I'm going to put on my bag. Uh, this is from Melbourne Zoo. Um, the zoo was, you know, it was pretty big. There was like a bunch of animals. I just got a keychain. I don't know what else to get from there. Uh, not much to explain here. Uh, it's a little tiger guy. Love that. Um, I'm putting it on my school bag because the only keychain I have on there is an Imperial War Museum one from the UK. I had like a design museum like badge I think but then I think it was like rusting or like it was easily going to fall off from my bag so I took it off. So my bag is like this black plain black like backpack with nothing on it except like a singular keychain. So I'm going to put this one. Um, I have this sticker book an enchanting vintage sticker book with over nine 
900 stickers. That's almost a thousand. I got this from, I'm sorry, I keep trying to like adjust my gloves here. Give me a second. It's annoying me. Um, yeah, I got this from like, I think it was a store selling like cards, like all sorts of cards. There's like a bunch. There was gift wraps, a little, a bunch of like little mini gifts you can give to people. Um, but they also had like these sticker books. There's like a couple to choose from. Uh, I took this one because this is the first one that caught my eye. I did actually already open this because I did not want to wait until I made this video. Um, but we'll open it now. And I don't think I'll put it back. Um, I got this for like my little sketchbook, I guess. It's really cute, honestly. Um, let me show you a page. There's like a bunch of little designs here. Um, like, that is cute. I love that. That is everything to me. Um, maybe I'll put it in my journal as well. Um, my current, like, journal is, like, really plain. I don't, I didn't decorate it as much as I did, like, last year. Like, this year I'm, like, keeping it simple. I'm just, like, writing in it. It's like a diary, I guess. But it, oh, oh, oh my gosh, I love this so much. There's, like, birds on there. Oh, there's crows. I love that. Um, I will try my best to find a use for these stickers. I still have, like, my old, like, ones, um, from, like, Shopee or something. It was, like, a bunch of sets that my mom got for me. They're, like, really cheap as well. Um, they're okay. The stickers, like, stick fine. It's just, like, the designs aren't really it, you know. Um, okay, this one is not, like, a souvenir or anything. But this is my Mikey card. Um, it's the card you use for any like public transportation there. It's kind of like an oyster card. Um, I still have that by the way in like a little like tin box with like all my like London related stuff. Um, this is like, so there's like a difference between like the adult and children one. I'm still considered like a child. And I think even like people like 18, they can still like use like a child Mikey card. Um, um, if you're using a tram, um, you don't really have to scan this because, especially if you're, like, in the free zone, so you don't have to pay anything for that. You don't have to scan it. Unless you're getting out of that, then you have to scan it so you can take money off of it. Um, if you ride a train as well, you have to scan it, obviously, to get past the little gates. Um, uh, in design-wise, I don't think there's any difference between, like, a child and adult Mikey card, so... Everyone had to, like, keep it uh, to themselves and not, like, switch it together. I mean, not that it mattered, because we would just, like, switch it, like, in, like, within my family anyways. So, yeah, I think you understand. There's, like, a few brochures here. I'm not, these aren't important. Like, this is for the Heelsville, I think that's how you say it, Heelsville Sanctuary. I also went there. It's pretty kind of like similar to Melbourne Zoo, but like you see the animals like a lot closer than that. Um, the main, the last thing I want to show you, though, there's like a few other like little brochures and stuff like my dad grabbed and then I put it in my bag. And now I don't know what to do with it because they're kind of useless. Some of them are really like torn apart. But the main thing I want to show you is this little guy. This is from like a like memorial, like war memorial thing. I forgot the name. But it had this at the gift shop. It's a this is a this is not a stuffed animal, this is a hand puppet. Um I can put it in I'm wearing a glove right now so hopefully I can still fit my I forgot already how I'm supposed to I think that's a, Yeah Hi Hello Hello Hi he does not have a name yet or a set voice. Um, my mom suggested that I use this little puppet thing when like I'm talking in videos since I don't show my face. And I was like, no, I can't do that because I'm not a kangaroo, obviously. That's not even like my little persona thing. So I guess this little guy is going to be like a whole separate character in my videos. I don't know if he'll pop up like that much. I can move the head like this. And is the camera like hiding? I don't. I can't tell. I don't have like a mirror behind my camera, so I don't know like what's catching. I cannot shake its head, sort of. I can move its hand. 
There's a tail at the back, and little legs at the front. It's so cute. I love it so much. Um, I took like the first hand puppet that was like, there's like a couple, there's one that was like a, a wombat, I think, but that one, the head was just too, how do I say, it's like too circular or something, and it was just like this giant like plush at the top, and then the rest of the body was like, you know, obviously there was like no hand or anything, so I don't know, it, it just looked weird, so I took the little kangaroo, there's another one. I think it was a some other animal I cannot recall. This is really cute though. I love this so much. Love this silly little guy. How could you hate that face? It's adorable. It's adorable. Hello. Hello. It can grab stuff for you. Isn't that great? Just grabbing my Okay, wait. It's hold up. Ah. It's holding the lip balm. Yay. Beauty tips. Something. I don't know. Silly little guy. I'm going to try my best to like, learn how to like, control this little puppy. Because all I can do right now is just this. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I, I have school tomorrow. I shouldn't even like, be awake right now. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I got everything. Hopefully. There's a couple other stuff. I, I, I didn't show everything. I think there was like a shirt downstairs that I got from the airport. But, you know, that's kind of boring. So, yeah, I'll end it here. Uh, goodbye. Good night. Good evening. Anything. Um, hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.